Hi, my name is Talia, and I'm going to walk you through an organic intuitive art workshop. So this is a workshop that you can do at home using completely organic materials, and most of which you can probably find in your kitchen or very easily at the store. Um, it's a workshop that's for ages five and up, and you want about an hour to complete it. And um, you just want to watch this whole video before you begin because I'm going to do a demonstration. So here are some sample pieces. You can see here um, the different techniques and different colors that I've used. Here's another one. And so I'm gonna explain um, the materials. Uh, you need a piece of watercolor paper or very thick paper that will absorb water, uh, paint brushes, a sponge, and a jar of water, as well as um, tea. So you want a dark tea, I have hibiscus tea, or any red or black tea. Um, really strong coffee or espresso, if you can make it, it is great. Uh, some coffee grinds to create more texture. Uh, some beet juice that is a really beautiful pink color. Um, turmeric. So um, you want to take some turmeric powder and just dilute it in a very little bit of water so that it doesn't dilute the color too much. And then I made a sort of blue-green using spirulina. So if you have this available, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. And then I also have some finely ground salt and some coarse salt. So any kind of salt will work. And if you have um, just finely ground, that that's, works great. So I'm going to just show you on the paper how to use them. You want your paper flat down so that the, um, the material doesn't spill. And then I'm just going to start splashing on some tea. It's a very soft tone so it's a nice one to start with just to get the paper wet to begin. And then I'm going to use some of the beet juice. You can see how strong the color is. And I'm going to do a blowing technique to make it spread out. You just want to blow hard and fast. And then um, some coffee. So you get some different darker tones in there. Now some of the yellow turmeric, I'm going to splatter it on. So holding the brush above the page, I'm just tapping on the brush to create these fun splatters. And some blue, green, spirulina. It's a really nice color. And I'm gonna um, use some of the fine salt, just sprinkling it onto the wet paint. So it's gonna absorb the paint And then some coarse salt as well on the really uh, wet pools of paint. So that's what creates this effect. That's what it looks like after it dries. And yeah, you just want to be really loose and playful with it. Um, the coffee grinds are good just to sprinkle on and um, let those sit until it dries completely. And then once it dries completely, all, all of that can be brushed off. Um, but you definitely want to make sure you keep your page flat and you let it dry. 
and that's it. Um, so uh, have fun with it. And there's a link underneath this video with the list of supplies and the recipes to create the paint, as well as just additional info that's helpful for the workshop. So enjoy and thanks for watching.